Oh, that's right, baby. It's time for J-Rocks. For Candyman 2021, we will now answer the question, which one J-Rock thought was better? Was it the movie or the trailer? We're about to answer that question right now. Come on back. So we can do the damn thing. Hi, Lick. J-Rock has come back. What is happening in, 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 with the millions <laughs> and millions of J-Rock's fans from all over the world? That's right, baby. J-Rock is here, and we are about to do J-Rock's movie versus trailer review for Candyman 2021, directed by Jordan Peele. Got an opportunity to see this a uh, day or two ago, and now it's time to go through the trailer. Pick it apart. See what was in the movie, what wasn't. Any funky editing that was done to sell the movie and did the movie live up to the hype or did the trailer oversell the movie, thereby being better than the movie? You may be wondering if this is your first time on The Great Ones channel. What is a movie versus trailer review? Well, J-Rock says this. Too often, J-Rock has watched the trailer to a movie and been hyped, pumped, excited, ready to see it, okay? Only to spend his hard-earned dollars to watch the movie and saying, I should have kept my damn money. Because the trailer was better than the movie. It oversold the movie. The movie could not live up to the hype that was set by the trailer. And so now, J-Rock says this. The brainchild of the great one, the YouTube people's champ, decided he wanted to do his movie versus trailer review and figure out, was the trailer better than the movie? You may be surprised. And so we're going to do that right now. For Candyman. But first, any reaction requests, anything you want J Rock to react to, trailers, that sort of thing, drop it down in the comment section below. And if I choose your request, I'll give you a shout out on the Great Ones channel. Now let's do this damn thing. Alright, so J Rock is gonna go through the trailer. We're gonna look at it bit by bit, break it down. But J Rock says this. Alright. This movie wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be. J Rock said this. This it's not your typical slasher movie, okay? All right? Oh, by the way, for those of you who haven't seen the movie yet, this will contain spoilers. So if you haven't seen it and you don't want it spoiled for you, make sure you go and uh, check it out first and then come back and tell the great one himself which one you thought was better, the movie or the trailer, okay? Now, it was not your typical slasher movie, okay? Uh, but with that being said, it had its slasher components. Obviously, it's candy, man. Uh, but to me, this movie wasn't scary, you know? Um, did it have maybe some uneasy moments to it? Yeah, but I wasn't like, oh my God, what? Oh, 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 scared to death. I, it wasn't one of those movies for me, okay? Uh, it was entertaining. Uh, it had a thrill ride to it. You were waiting, you know, when is he going to show up? You know, who is he going to get first? I like the way they redid it. Uh, obviously, you know, 30 years later, but um, right here is the beginning of the movie. Now, this young man is going to play uh, a very key role in this movie. This young man, um, I can't remember his name. That is correct. It does not matter what his name is. <laughs> but he plays an important role uh, because he is going to be, I guess you can call the catalyst if you will, for the reemergence of Candyman uh, in a bigger scale, all right? Um, now, for those of you who saw the first one, Candyman's power, sort of that of Freddy Krueger, right? If you talk about him and you make people afraid, that's how they get their power, that's how they show up and that sort of thing, right? But if you don't talk about them, you don't mention them, nobody brings them up, then they they can't, you know, they don't get their powers that way. Candyman is different. He's, he's a black Freddy Cooper, you know. And so we're going to try to see this young brother, all right, as he's going to do some laundry, which is kind of apropos when you see him uh, later on in the trailer. Um, he's the one narrating over there. All right, so this part right here, um, 
is uh, is not at the beginning, all right? Well, then he 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 narrates this exact same story in the movie, okay? So this part where he's narrating the story in the movie is in there. However, this part of the movie at the beginning, it has no narration. This is just a young boy going to the laundromat to do some laundry, and um, you know, Dara I can't remember his name either. That is correct. It does not matter what his name is. <laughs> there is this crack in the wall. He and it's this is this this was kind of uneasy. I'm like, bro, why? Like, black folks don't hang out through cracks, bro. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, huh? You know? And it's some a little, and he's and he's handing out candy. You know? I'm like, bro, why is you in, in the wall? <laughs> you know? But anyway, he comes through the crack in the wall. And he's got this, you know, you know, it's sort of like a devious grin on his face where he's handing out candy to the little boy who, you know, gets grown, narrates over the story of the young boy. But anyway, uh, this is right at the beginning of the movie. A couple of kids get razor blades in the candy. Police come around. That's when I saw the true face of fear. Get on your knees. Hands, hands, hands. I liked it, the, the the little shadow storytelling. I thought that was a nice little twist to it um, that they added to this. But yeah, yeah, it's good. Right here. All right, so this guy is the little boy. Okay, he now owns a laundromat, which I said is apropos because he was doing laundry. But be that as it may, that's not the point. He owns a laundromat, and he runs into the main character. Uh, of the movie, right? And he's telling them the story because you know the main character, um, the main character's name uh, Anthony, Tony Anthony, right? In the movie, and Anthony is a, as a, as you know, for those of you who watched the first one, you know who Anthony is. He's the baby that you know the first the original Candyman took and was supposed to, you know sacrifice uh in the first movie but you know the woman got him out uh and whatnot gave him back to his mama who um i can't remember her name either it what? doesn't matter what her name was she hasn't aged a bit she looks the same in that movie as she does in this one just as fine as she want to be i mean she looking good she saved so now anthony is grown He's an artist now, but he's sort of, you watch him, he's sort of like on the verge of being like crazy, right? He has a little bit of like, it is like, don't push me because I'm close to the edge sort of thing. You know what I'm saying? But he right there, you know, he's an artist. He's living with his girl, you know, and he's trying to make it as an artist. And he eh, right there. So he wants to do a, you know, a piece, you know, about the ghetto. And so he goes back to his old stomping grounds and whatnot. And he runs into this gentleman right here, who then begins to tell the story of Candyman. And that's where it starts. Back more razor blades and more candy. He been innocent. So he's a Candyman ain't a he. Candyman's the whole damn hive. Yeah. All right, so he gets stung by this bee, which is sort of an omen. Typically, if you get stung by a bee, you might have a little sore, a little bump right there. You just, you know, put something on it, some ice, some, you know, curricomb, whatever you put on that. Um, and typically within a day or two, if that, it it, it, does, it goes away, right? It's just a little bee sting. Okay, ouch, bye. But this particular bee stings him. And his skin literally starts to rot him. It's deteriorating, okay? And so he, it, it, it stings him, then it starts to get worse and worse. And like, damn, like what's wrong with his hand? Then you slowly see the progression of what happens to him on a mental level. I feel really connected to this story. Yeah, that's, that's it, him living with this girl. 
And this is him going back to the old neighborhood to, you know, do a piece on, you know, his art or whatever. Right here in this neighborhood, the legend started. Uh -huh. And the legend is, if we say his name. Ah, see, look. Look at this. Look at his mama. She ain't aged a bit. Still as fine as she was 30 years ago. Right? She's probably in her 50s right now. And look like she's still in her damn 20s. But, be that as it may. Let's keep going through this trailer. Let's see. Was there anything I missed? No. Alright, so this guy right here. This is his girlfriend's brother. And, uh, he's gay. And so, anyway. Ain't got nothing to do with cannon, man. Yeah. Summon him. Summon the Candyman. Hell no. Candyman. Anthony, no. And so, in this part, let me go back. He is, you know, Candyman. Right here. After he's telling her what the story, he's looking in a mirror behind her. He actually says his name five times in that mirror before she can stop him. That's all it took. All right. And that's when it starts. Anthony, no. So this part right here is where you can kind of hang on. This is after this part right here, standing in the street because he went to go visit his mom. His mom lied to him about who he was, where he was born, all that good stuff, because she wanted to protect him because after the last movie, she didn't want to ever, ever, ever have to even talk about, mention what even happened. So she made up the story about where he was born and all that good stuff. He goes back and tells, she go, he goes back and talk to her. She tells him the truth about what happened and he understands his connection to the original Candyman and he is like gone, right? He is freaked the hell out. Yeah, see? See? Don't, don't, say don't say his name. Yeah. Alright, so these girls in the lot in the what was it? A bathroom? Hang on. Don't say that. Alright, so yeah, they're in the bathroom and they summon Candyman. Alright? And um, this is part was kinda gory. Because there's another young lady who comes in the bathroom after they've already gotten done chanting his name. She goes in the stall to use the bathroom. She has on headphones. One of the little girls has one of those makeup packs. What do you call them? It has a mirror in it. And she drops it on the ground. And you can literally see Candyman through the mirror. You know, because you see him in mirrors or whatever. But that being said, it was, it was, ooh, it was a uh, pretty. Well, I'll just say it was well done and as to how they did that part. All right. That part was pretty good how they did that. Yep, right here. Got cut by a razor. And there he is in the ceiling. This is where he, he's washing his hand because of this thing, but it, it's not helping. It's just getting worse. This is where he starts to, sn you know, slowly, you know, break on through to the other side. You know what I'm saying? Anthony. See? His hand. Anthony. All right, so he's smiling right here because <laughs> he went to an art show the night before. He got drunk. He... he the art director or, you know, the, the guy who was in charge of the whole uh, art gallery, he and him got into an argument. He got drunk. The guy, the art gallery guy and his girl, you know, they were there late. Lights were off. And it was like, hey, yeah, yeah, you, you want to do it, you know? And then I don't know what would possess this guy in that moment right there to look in a mirror that you know, they were in front of. While he was getting ready to lay the, before he was getting ready to lay the smack down on her, go one on one. He says Candyman's name five times in the mirror. Like, bruh, 
that ain't the time to trying to be figure out if some urban legend is true right like that ain't the time right now okay let's 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 do what we need to do and everything work out don't be calling no damn you know urban not right now okay Yeah, so he's starting to lose. So yeah, right here, this is the uh, the art guy summoning Candyman, and uh, yeah, Candyman kills a girl, and uh, yeah, he's next. Oh, yeah, yep, show sure did. Oh, hang on, this is hang on this part right here. You see the little, the little boy's face? That's the that's the little boy at the laundry uh, who was do, doing the laundry, narrating over the story. This is how it starts, okay? He wanted to go in a room with his sister when he was a little boy, but his sister kicked him out. Get out, get out, get out. I guess his sister had found the urban legend about Candyman, and they started calling Candyman. He witnessed Candyman kill his sister and her friend right there. And whoo, that was the key was the catalyst. Pass it on to, you know, Anthony or whatnot. Candyman, is it real? Oh, yes, he oh. is. See, that was the um, the art gallery. The, the He and the girl got killed. After they call Candyman, bruh, like, I ain't, I'm sorry, but in that moment, I ain't thinking about no damn Candyman, bruh. All right? Just saying. Oh, he has purpose for you. And that's her telling him who he really is and all that good stuff. Yep. So this part right here, she gets. She, she goes to find Anthony after he leaves. So here's here's what happened. It might be in the trailer, but I'll tell you. After he realizes what he's done, he goes home to tell his girl what happened. She don't believe him. She thinks he's just gone crazy. So she said, you know what? I'll prove he's not real. I'll prove it. So she goes over to the mirror and starts to say, Candyman, can I think when she gets like to the third or fourth time, he takes this, like this frying pan Throws it at the mirror and breaks it. Scares the hell out of her because he's never done that before. She's like, oh, this Negro done lost his damn mind. So she leaves, goes to her brother's house, you know, who's gay. And she tells him everything that happened. So I guess she stays at her brother's for a day, comes back the next day to get her things. He's not there. He's gone. So she goes to look for him and leads him to this, leads her search to this church. Well, no, I take that back. She goes to look for him down at the laundromat where the guy, you know, told the story to him. And the guy at the laundromat kidnaps her. Right? Ties her up. And then he takes her to the church. Come to find out, he was trying to form a new candy man. Anthony is there at the church. I don't know... What was up with Anthony at this point? But you can tell the effects of that bee was starting to cover his. He was starting to look like Candyman, right? His skin was peeling. His eye, you know, the pupil of his eye was tr turning to be all white. You know, he was starting to look like Two Face a little bit. And she breaks free and she kills the other guy, not Anthony, the other guy that was there. This, this is her stabbing him. Stab, stab. Okay. All right, so that's before he gets there. So yeah, so what happens is this is kind of kind of jacked up. All right, the police get there. Um, they kill Anthony, right? They kill him in front of her, and so that was kind of the plan all along because if Anthony dies, he can become another a new Candyman, right? Oh, and I forgot to tell y'all this part. Okay, this part was kind of like, oh my God, what is he doing? You remember the guy, the laundromat owner guy? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what was up with Anthony, but he was, 
he wasn't talking. And so the laundromat guy's trying to make another candy man. So cuts his hand off, replaces it with a hook. Like literally saws his hand off. I'm like, oh. But Anthony does he oh he makes like this little mm. So I'm sitting there thinking, like, is he drugged? Like, what is up with him? Y'all let me know, because I don't remember exactly. But he cuts his hand off, puts his hand, I mean, in the hook where his hand was. Police show up, kill Anthony. Now he becomes a new candy man. The police want her to basically lie about what happened. They want her to say it was Anthony who killed everybody, okay? He came at us with a hook tried to kill us or you can take the fall with your boyfriend how you want to do this okay you could be a co-conspirator and all this so you can walk away you can say what happened the way we tell you to or you can go to jail for you know being a co-conspirator and all of this how you want to roll how you want to get out with all this and she's like you know what i'll say whatever the hell you want me to say just do me one favor one favor let me use your mirror. You know what she about to do, right? As you can see in the trailer, she's summoning Candyman. And sure enough, five times in the mirror, guess who shows up? The new Candyman, Anthony. Cops don't stand a chance, man. Cops don't stand a chance. And that's right at the end. So this is that part I was telling you all about, the little girl who dropped the... Yeah, 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 yeah. She sees it. Yep, that's right at the end where, you know, she, he wants her to tell everybody what's happening, right? So that he can stay alive. Yep, don't stand a chance. That's right at the end, by the way. So, J-Rock says this. It's time for J-Rock to answer the question, which one was better, the movie or the trailer? J-Rock says this. The damn trailer was off the chain. It got you interested. Even had J-Rock thinking that the damn movie was gonna be a lot scarier than it was. Go check out my other tra uh, movie trailer reaction I did for that one, all right? It wasn't as scary as I thought it was gonna be, all right? It, it wasn't as scary. Now that don't mean the movie sucked, because it, it didn't suck, it was a damn good movie. Uh, it just wasn't as scary as I thought it was, right? You know. So, with that being said, which one was better? movie or the trailer make sure you put your comments down below and let me know which one you thought was better okay for this one I it, it's hard to pick one honestly it really is because uh, everything that was in the trailer was in the movie they did a good job editing it editing uh, the trailer uh, but if I had to pick one I would say the movie lived up to the hype with the I, it would have been the movie would have been better if it was scarier than I thought. Now, it's not their fault, right? I'm sure there were some folks who were scared. I just wasn't one of them. Um, but in this case, I'll say the movie was... It was better. Better than the trailer. It was. It, I'm not saying it was leaps and bounds better than the trailer. But I will say it was better than the trailer. All right? Did the movie live up to the hype? I will say yes, it did. There are some movies who didn't. Okay? That did not live up to the hype. Okay? I'm not going to say which ones are, but you go back and check out my other movie versus trailer reviews to figure out which movies I thought just didn't cut the cut the mustard, okay? All right? Now, it's your turn. Which one did you think was better, the movie or the trailer? You know what to do. Post your comments down below. Let J-Rock know what you thought of his reaction to his movie versus trailer review. And if you enjoyed the Great Ones movie versus trailer review, hit that like button, subscribe, and share, and hit that bell. You can be notified when it is time time to be electrified thank you for joining j rock until next time mamba gg and wakanda forever and you smile what j rock